Hi guys, it's Miss Elisa here and happy Wednesday. I'm so glad you're joining me for Wednesday Connect. So tonight is gonna be a review on Easter, which we celebrated on Sunday. But before we get started with the lesson, I want us to share our sweet and sour with someone around us. Again, that's something sweet from the week and something a little sour. Go ahead, share it with someone around you. Great job. So today we're gonna to be reviewing the Easter story. And on Sunday, we celebrated that the tomb was empty. So we're gonna be reading from our storybook Bible, Luke 24, verses one through 12. Okay. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women were very sad. Jesus had been killed on a cross. They wanted to prepare his body, so very early on Sunday morning, the women went to Jesus' tomb right outside the gates of Jerusalem. When the women got to Jesus' tomb, they found the stone rolled away. When they went inside the tomb, they didn't find Jesus' body, and they didn't know what to think about this. Suddenly, two angels appeared. The women were afraid. The angel said, why are you looking for Jesus here? He isn't here. He has risen. The women ran to the disciples and told them what had happened at Jesus' tomb. The disciples didn't believe the women. Peter ran to the tomb. When he looked inside, all he saw was a linen cloth. He went back home wondering what had happened. So, why is this story so important? You see, we celebrate this because God loves you and he gave his son for you so that we can believe. You know, God loved you before you were born and you were created in his image. He loves you so much, but sin keeps us away from him. Sin is anything that keeps us from living out the story that God wants for us. And on our own, we can't do anything about being apart from God. So God stepped in and he gave us his son. Jesus came to earth to make a way. Jesus gave his life on a cross to pay for our sins. And on Sunday, on Easter, we celebrated that three days after he gave his life, he rose from the dead. The tomb was empty and we celebrate what God did for us, giving his son. Now, our part is to believe, to believe that God loves us so much and to receive the best gift. So, I want us to pray and thank God together and to just spend the next few days remembering that God gave his son for you. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day and thank you for this story and this truth. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I hope you have the best week celebrating the best gift. I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.